Hello, my name is David from the tech support team here at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be looking at work groups and the different settings within the system for your members as to what conditions they need to follow and what rules there are and how they interact with the system. This is located in the setup area of your system that your top level administrators can access via the top left corner. Drop down arrow, look at the setup link here, and we're going to go down towards the bottom left here under work groups. Now you can have different work groups for different sets of people. Each member only belongs to one work group, so one set of rules per person. So you can have this separated out into different shifts, into different categories. In this case, we have full-time members and part-time members. So let's look at the full-time group here and edit the work group, and we'll look through these different options that are available to your members. How they interact with the system is determined by these rules. Can they submit their availability? Are you going to allow your members to submit availability, letting you know as an admin when they're available to work? Yes, by checking the box you're saying yes. And then maybe determine what categories are available to them, such as unavailable and preferred. Available being in yellow, unavailable in red, and preferred in green. So if they need to let you know not only when they can work, but when they can't, or what they prefer to work. If you're building the schedule for next month and you just want to make sure your members have a cutoff date as to how far ahead of time they can set their availability for that month. You can certainly set it to a particular day of the month, let's say the 15th. Then midnight of the 15th, the night of the 14th, morning of the 15th, at midnight, your members have up until that time to submit availability for the following month. So in this month being October, they have the fifth till the 15th of October to submit their availability for November. Can your members sign up for shifts? Yes, you're allowing them to sign up for shifts. Does it require your approval? Yes. You can have it set to auto approve if you wish. Do you need to restrict those signups for uh, any length of time? So say the current month, current month, and next month, your custom range if need be. Does those signups send a notification to your admins and then back to your members once they've been submitted and then approved or denied? Automatic notifications set here. Your trade rules, are they allowed to trade their shifts? In this case, we're saying yes, and then we say what kind of trades can they sh trade uh, for their shifts? Shift giveaways, meaning they're just giving away their shift, it's a one-way trade, or does it need to be swapped, meaning a trade one for one with another member? And then what are the extra rules involved with those trades regarding sending notifications? Does it allow trading of unpublished shifts? If your schedule is not published to your members into the future, but you still want to allow them to trade shifts that might be out there, this is what you would allow. When can they request trade for shifts? Same as the restriction for signups. Does it need to be a limited amount of time into the future? What's the approval method? Is it automatic or does it require your approval? And then some other restrictions that can be put here, such as in the swap shift must be repaid within a certain length of time. Maybe the trade needs to be paid back within the same pay period in order to keep things clean on the pay period and the payroll. Also, you can restrict based on the trade shift being uh, on the same schedule or the same position, captain for captain, medic for medic, that sort of thing. Or if you wish, you can uncheck the sh same shift length option and then you can trade shifts of different lengths say 10 hour for 14 hour and so forth also within the work groups here are work limits where you can uh, monitor and control how many hours that your members do get within this group so your full-time members in this case how many hours do we need to do we need to track how many hours they work in a row and let's say it's 24 hours in a row. What happens at that point? Does it show a warning, require your approval, or just straight up don't, do not allow it? Total hours, you can set here as you can see how many hours within a week or a month or a range. So when they try to go over 60 hours in a week, it requires our approval. The week starting at 7 a.m. You may want to also set a restriction of some kind uh, requiring a break between shifts. Some healthcare workers need, say, an eight hour break between extended shifts, and you can set that option here. 
Overtime rules. Here's where you can have the system calculate your overtime for you automatically based on a formula, based on what work group they're in. Now you may have a pay period, say of a two week pay period, but you don't wanna pay your members overtime based on anything over say 40 or 56 hours in a two week period. You need to break that down into one week ranges and that's how you would do that here. So you can calculate the overtime based on a week or day range. And in this case, we're saying everything over 56 hours in one week constitutes overtime and our week starts on date in question that you get to choose and what day and time that starts. Then the system will automatically calculate that overtime for you in the reports where you can see a report that shows the two week pay period, but it calculates overtime based on the formulas that you've set here in one week increments instead of over the two week. And your part time members could have a separate rule uh, saying how much overtime they get or if at all and the report will automatically calculate that based on the settings of your members. Because what you're gonna do is take the member database and each member's profile and show the system what set of rules each member needs to follow. And you can set that here in your member database and you can see here some are part-time and some are full-time to show who belongs in what work group. Now you can use these work groups not just for the rules, but also for the ability to just filter out that group of people based on another function. So you can even have multiple work groups that have the exact same set of rules and settings, but maybe use them for a different purpose, such as ABC shift. You can have three different work groups there, have your members broken down into those groups, and then say, you could use the find coverage alert option here if you need to fill a particular shift on the schedule. Clicking on the blue envelope there, you can then select your recipients and maybe send out this find coverage alert to a specific group as opposed to by name. And now you can say, maybe I wanna give my part-time members first crack at signing up for an open shift before I come back and give the full-time members an opportunity to sign up for it. The same could be true for A, B, C shift if you want to give your A shifters, say, a first crack at signing up for a shift. Another function within the system is permissions and access to the system in terms of your forms. So you may have a form here that you need to set for just your full-time members to be part of, and in the each form settings, you will have the possibility of setting a level of permission in terms of submitting the form based on their name or by their work group, say. So this particular form would be set for your full-time members. Or you could set notifications to send out to a supervisor access level or even an individual work group based on whatever function that might be. And you can set field level notifications as well. So be sure you're having one work group per member and you may set up uh, the rules accordingly and then set your members to what work group they belong to and use a naming convention that would make sense to your particular service. So there you have it, work groups for your members, the rules that they follow. If you have any questions or need assistance, please call or email us anytime. Thank you for listening.